come here. I want to show you one of the best application that can read DWG files on the bus. And my designer has sent me these DWG files, but I don't know how to open or read them. So I asked him and he just recommended one of the best application, which is known by the CAD reader. OK, so you can go ahead and download it, which is completely free. Now, CAD reader can read your DWG files and even you can convert your PDF files with it to DWG, okay? So let me show you how you can download and how you can use it. What you have to do is just to open App Store or maybe Play Store in your mobile phone and then search for the CAD Reader in the search box. As you can see, we have this CAD Reader. Just go ahead and style it. Now, I'm gonna click on the icon which is just available on my screen after installation. As you can see, the interface is in a simple and friendly containing recently opened files, local files, and a search box. Now, I'm going to jump into the WhatsApp so I can show you those files which have been sent by the designer. As you can see, these files have been sent by the designer. First of all, I'm going to try the PDF file, which is column layout.pdf. Let me just click on it. As you can see, this is a PDF file containing some drawings. Now, I'll just open this file using CAD Reader. I'll click on the Share button, and then, of course, on the More, to navigate to the CAD Reader icon. As you can see, we have CAD Reader over here, which is available, of course. I'm gonna click on it. As you can see, this has been opened in the CAD Reader, which means CAD Reader can also read your PDF files. If I need to convert this PDF file into DWG file, I'll just click on the PDF to CAD. And here we have a prompt, which shows, of course, the number of pages in the number of pages which have been converted. I'm gonna click on the OK. As you can see, this is column layout dash one dot DWG, which means that PDF is been converted. This is pretty cool, right? I'm gonna switch again into the WhatsApp so I can open a DWG file. As you can see in WhatsApp, I have this DWG file, which is of course CAD one dot DWG. I'm gonna open it. As you can see, this is just a text file. It means my mobile phone is not able to read DWG files. So I'm gonna click on the share. I'm gonna look for the CAD reader by clicking more and then of course it's over here, CAD reader. After clicking, of course, that file has been opened in the CAD reader. This is pretty amazing, okay? You can see it. Now I'll show you some of the features and functions of CAD reader. As you can see at the bottom, we have some of the icons like the command tools, the major tools, pictures, some layers, and setting of course. I'll click on this little pencil so we can see some command tools. Let me just draw a line. So using CAD Reader, we can also draw a line. I'll click on this little icon. And here, of course, we got a little mouse. That's pretty amazing, okay? We can even click using our fingertips. But I'll use this mouse for the precision. As you can see, I can draw any line in the working space by choosing two points. Like, I'm gonna just drag this little mouse and I'm gonna click over here in empty space. The next point can be specified using the mouse again. However, here are some options. As you can see at the bottom, we got cancel the ortho mode. By checking it, we can turn it on and turn it off by unchecking. And of course, we have the length box, which shows the length of the same line. So I'm just gonna check the ortho mode so I can have a straight or parallel line. As you can see, we can even just control the length of the line. Now, I'm just gonna click the second point or just specify the second point. As you can see, that's the line. Let me just delete it by clicking that cross and then click OK. Again, I'm gonna click on the same icon and this time, let me just draw a leader, okay? Let me just, just label this circle, okay? I'm gonna click on the leader. Now, I'm going to select this circle by the same mouse as you can see, this is just the circle. And for the text, I'm just gonna click near to the same point. Now, I'm gonna just type dia equals 10 centimeter. Whatever the dia is, I'm just showing you the features, okay? I'm gonna click okay, as you can see, that's pretty cool leader, okay? Next, as you can see, we can even draw a rectangle. And next, we have an ellipse, okay? Which can be used to draw a circle and even an ellipse. And then, of course, we have some text. Like, let's say this, this is the bedroom, okay? And there's possible over here, like maybe bedroom and the size is going to be three by four meters, okay? I'm gonna click okay. And as you can see, this is the same text. We can go ahead and just adjust the same text at the middle. That's pretty cool, okay? Next, as you can see, we have this text 
one word two. For that, I'm just gonna open another DWG, which is the column layout. Again, I'm gonna click on the pencil and then the text. I'll just type C in the content and then start number is going to be one and the suffix is just okay for me. I'm gonna click on the okay. Now, I'll specify some points, okay, near the columns. As you can see, this is column one, the column two, the column three. It means that we can just place continuous numbering text, okay? Or you can say auto number text. That is column three, that is column four, and so on. All right, next, let me just try the measurement tools. Well, here, as you can see, this is a toolbar, and I can just measure the distance between two points very easily, okay? You can say, let's just determine the distance between these two columns. I'll just specify that column and this horizontal line, okay? I can even adjust the dimensions line. As you can see, this is pretty cool. You can see it. And again, let me just open this measurement tool. And let me just try the X or Y, which means the northing, easting, or maybe the easting, northing. For that, I just need to open another DWG file. And let me just open this CAD one dot dwg now let's just say if i need to sit out these three properties okay or you can say these parcels so i just need the coordinates of this corner okay for the purpose of sit out maybe using total station or gps so i'm going to click on the measurement tools and then of course this x by y okay now i can activate the mouse so i can drag it over here to this point i'm going to specify that point and i'm just going to click or just specify another point for the text position let's just click near to the same corner as you can see that's the x y okay and similarly we can use the same functionality okay multiple times you can see that okay let me just try another functionality let's just say if i need the radius of the circle or maybe the arc or maybe the curvature so i can click over here on this icon let me just determine the radius of the same curvature okay I can drag the mouse over here and select that curvature and of course that's the radius you can see it let me just try one amazing functionality okay because we have bunch of functionality and we have little time so we cannot cover all these functionality you have to do that by yourself okay let me just determine the area of the property one that's gonna be pretty cool thing using your mobile phone let me just specify the same properties area by clicking on this icon we can just specify each corner you can see that okay this corner this one this one and of course i'm gonna close the pulley line you can say and that's done you can see that that's the circumference or maybe perimeter and then of course the area of the same property that's pretty cool okay we have more things in the same toolbar you can see we have uh, some layers management we have of course some uh, model and layout switching okay we can do that and of course then we have uh, some unit setup and which can be just managed uh, and even we can of course just uh, switch the units okay by uh, by checking these boxes okay the final thing which i want to show you is just something now as you can see we have multiple drawings over here okay and of course i can click on the model and layout so we have multiple models and layout as you can see that's just switching okay we can switch from one layout to another layout so in short CAD reader can be used to measure distances to determine areas and to label or annotate and to have some commands in the existing dwg see you in the next video